And then what happened is in 2020, the disaster that Tema and I discussed already. Yeah. And that's when we grew, Tema called it sexy, I would call it respect. Okay, supply chain <laughs> was, kind of, was, was, was not sexy. Okay, Tema was absolutely <laughs> right. It was kind of boring back those guys over there. In fact, in this very room that I'm sitting right now, right on the other side of the screen, there's a chair. I remember in March of 2020, my wife came in and sat in that chair. My wife never comes in this office and sits down. She comes in and talks to me, but she never comes in and sits down. And I thought, oh, wow, what did I do now? I've done something wrong. Did I forget to take the trash out? Did I forget to break down the Amazon boxes? You know, what did I do? And I, oh, this is not good. And then she smiled and she said to me, she said, congratulations, Jim. And I thought, oh, well, wow, I, thank you. I, what, what did I do? And she said, you are now legitimate. <laughs> I hear, I, I hear. I, you know, I mom and dad never told me that I wasn't legitimate. I thought I've always been legitimate. What, what do you mean? And she says, no, no, no. She says, you and I have been married for 51 years. She says, for 51 years, I've explained to my friends, to your friends, to our kids, to our grandkids, to everybody, what it is you do. And everyone looks at me with a blank stare. She said, but for the last two weeks, on, on the news all the time about supply chain, supply chain, supply chain. So she, said, she said, my good friend Ruth, Ruth called up and says, is this what Jim does? Jim does supply chain? Holy cow, that's important. That's cool. So all of a sudden in 2020, the field of supply chain grew respect. And so that's the first R. The yeah. second R followed in 2020, later in the year, when we started to have failure in supply chain. You mentioned the toilet paper issue. I mean, you know, we had websites telling us where you can go to buy toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. And, and we the that. tomato soup. You <laughs> couldn't find tomato soup anyplace. Okay. So what we found is we lacked resilience. And so resilience is the topic. Resilience, if you're a, a physicist, you think of resilience if you hold a ball out and you drop it, the ball will drop right, it will bounce right up to the your height of your hand. That's the resilience of one. A resilience of 0.5 is you drop a ball and it drops half as high as it fell. That's the resilience of 0.5. So the question is, how well are we able to bounce in the supply chain when you have these disruptions? And that's what leads to a tremendous new way of thinking about things where supply chain must change. And so what we're seeing is we're trying to get back to synchronization by dealing with this bouncing ball with our unknown of supply and demand and very and and, and uh, the lead times all are being varying. And so what we're seeing is we need to change what we do with supply chain. This is now being addressed in a very difficult way. There's some people out there that have been doing supply chain for 20 years and they say, hey, wait a minute, I got promoted. I'm the chief supply chain officer of this company and I got promoted because I knew how to do just in time. I knew how to do a reduction in cost. I knew how to go to low cost country. I don't want to change what I do. And what I tell him is, is sir, ma'am, you have to change because what you're doing, it doesn't work anymore. And so what we need to do is we need to move beyond where we are with a new technology that allows us to manage this level of variability, or we have to take total control as Tamara has said. Those are our two choices. Okay, Tamara, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. I see Jim got some respect <laughs> right now. <laughs> I don't know. I, I still think my word sexy works if his wife came in, sat down, and spent time with him. Made Jim, Jim, you just got a lot sexier, see? I did. I yeah. did. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. We've got to keep this on the rails here. So yeah. <laughs> let's keep professional. 